hear all gathered here in this online meeting. Send us your Holy Spirit to be our guide and give us the wisdom to understand every topic that we are going to discuss. Enlighten our minds and let your love be upon us. May this online meeting bring success and growth to all of us. We thank you, Father, for this precious time that you have given us. All this we pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Now, now I request on Dr. Okay, Raja sir to deliver the welcome address. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Respected Founder Father, Vice Chancellor, Register, Deputy Register, Dean of Administration, Dean of Academics, and Control of Examinations, IEC Coordinate and all the uh, department categories, all my dear faculty and students, very good morning. One tree can stop a forest, one world, uh, one word can frame a quiet, one candle can wipe off darkness, and a true leader has a conference to stand in front of the lead prayer group. It is a pleasure to welcome our today invited speaker, Sri Srinil Chindrek, founder and president, Budek Vardhani uh, Entrepreneurship and Skill Development Institute, Nasik Magarashtra. He has way to share a lot of knowledge how to create the entrepreneurship mindset. So, speakers of the uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, this is the entrepreneurship is a creation and extraction of economic value. This is entrepreneurship is a view the change generally entailing risk behind what is normally encountered in this case starting their business may include other values than simply economic ones. An entrepreneur is an individual to create and invest in their one or more business, being the most of the risk and enjoying the most of the rewards. The process of the setting up the business is known as the entrepreneurship. An entrepreneur is a commonly seen as inventor and source of the new ideas and good service and business and uh, producers. So sometimes uh, change, change in uh, struggles and exactly we need our lives. We were welcome uh, every effort, every struggle and every change. We were open to our wings and play that we may be able to get many birds of our society. Once again, I welcome you all and chief guest. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you for your warm words. Now, now I request Mr. 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 Chan, Mr. Mr. to deliver the chief guest. Yes, respected all the dignitaries that are present here. First of all, good morning to everyone. I would like to thank each of you for joining our one-day seminar on Impact Lecture Series. St. Joseph welcomes all the students, staff members, head of the departments and delegates for joining us today. On behalf of the university, it is an honor and privilege to welcome our chief guest, Sri Sunil Chandak, founder and president of Udyog Wardini, Entrepreneurship and Skill Development Institute, Nasik Maharashtra. He is working towards connecting young minds to strive towards success and achievements. 
We are grateful to him for accepting our invitation and coming here as a chief guest of today's event. He did his postgraduate in management and total 37 years experience in promoting developing entrepreneurs, particularly in the state of Maharashtra since 1985. He worked with government organization for 10 years to promote entrepreneurship and self-employment named Maharashtra Industrial Technical Cons Consultancy Organization Limited and Maharashtra Center for Entrepreneurship Development. He trained and developed more than 65,000 budding entrepreneurs, which is the highest number trained entrepreneurs by an individual trainer in India. He has been felicitated with many national and state level government corporate organization and many prestigious educational and social institution. Sir, we are really excited to hear your words today. So kindly, we kindly request our respected Sir Sri Sunil Janta to continue our event. Sir, now you can take the remaining time. Sir, your voice is not audible, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to first thank uh, Mr. Sela Dulai and uh, all the dignitaries of uh, the St. Joseph University who has invited me to have a discussion on entrepreneurship. Uh, it's really a matter of privilege for us, and uh, it will be definitely the Northeast is going to grow in a very big way. So uh, it is entrepreneur who can do the changes. So if we really inculcate the spirit of entrepreneurship in us and uh, of our uh, students as an entrepreneur, so I think it is a big uh, service to the country. So friends, uh, uh, let me share something about uh, entrepreneurship, why we should think about it. Is it visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. The presentation is barely visible, sir. Oh, thank you. So, friends, uh, as informed, Uddhav Vardhi, uh, since last 37 years, I am in the business of uh, creating entrepreneurs. And we are quite successful, uh, not only in terms of numbers, a number of enterprises have come up and uh, they are doing extremely well. In fact, uh, my 200 plus entrepreneurs, they are all first generation entrepreneurs, have crossed from up uh, 10 crores. And even my seven of my entrepreneurs have crossed from up uh, 100 crores. And they just had nothing. When they joined our programs, when they joined this movement, they just had a will to do something. And uh, we have converted uh, them into entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs. So friends, uh, it is, Everyone can be an entrepreneur, provided if he thinks in that way. Uh, the mindset uh, is very much required. Why we should think about entrepreneurship? Let me give you some explanation. Basically, uh, the era where uh, the 2020 and 2030, this world is, is, is called as recognized as a golden era for Indian entrepreneurs. Why it is recognized as a golden era? Because just see, what we are doing. In last, uh, you, 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 have must, you must have observed the figures which have been uh, declared by various authorities. Now our GDP is 8.7%, which is now first position in the world right now. Our economy has uh, almost on the verge of uh, 3 trillion US dollars. Exports are all time high now. Now we are planning for 2 trillion 
by 2025. Uh, it's a trustworthiness and uh, decision leadership led to India's growth. So friends, uh, what, what are the growth areas there where India is doing very well? Basically, in just recent past, if you just see, there are so many areas where, where India has shown a very big picture and very big uh, signs that uh, we are not only a developer, we are, developed, we are working towards uh, becoming a super power. Basically, see, uh, the non-conventional energy, there are big scope in India in various sectors and these sectors are going very fast. So, solar and non-conventional energy sources are abundant in India. Uh, biomass, solar, wind energy. If we convert that uh, into energy uh, sources, in that it will really solve not only India's problem, but we will be able to uh, export energy as well. So, uh, another sector, pharmaceutical sector, as uh, in the uh, Corona period, we have witnessed that Indian pharma sector was very, very much in demand, and uh, even uh, Trump. Uh, the then President Trump has warned India to supply the medicines and all that. So a lot of countries are dependent on it, so, so, so far as pharmaceutical is concerned. And same is the care of the case of healthcare. Now India is becoming healthcare as it is the cheapest option amongst all. Uh, friends, uh, the wellness centers are going very far. The Ayurveda, we have a blend of Ayurveda and uh, yoga that can really uh, increase uh, our immunity power and that is why we have not suffered that much so far as uh, regard if we consider the population we have 135 crores and uh, we had just uh, around six like casualties whereas uh, just take uh, in the, the america which is having a 31 crores population and the casualties are more than 10 lakhs so friends uh, uh, India is definitely going to be a healthcare hub and uh, there are big opportunities in this sector and it's growing very fast. The IT sector is concerned, of course, we are leader in so many uh, software development areas, IT enabled services and uh, definitely a lot of, uh, in fact, our almost 50% of the Indians are engaged in software development across the world. The another sector which is going up is uh, infrastructure. Infrastructure is going very fast and uh, even now North is, is going connected with very good roads, bridges and uh, even railways. So it's not only North East, but uh, entire India is going to be connected by very good infrastructure. Agriculture, of course, uh, India is basically agriculture dependent country. And uh, almost 60% uh, plus population is on that. If we really work on agriculture, basically there is a very big scope for agriculture. Agriculture and post harvesting, basically, if we do that. This is, this is because our almost, as per the records of uh, Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, we lose more than 125,000 crores of uh, agriculture produce. Because we are not able, we don't have that processing facilities, or we are not able to process it. So, if we start doing that processing, so there is a big scope for uh, processed food products also. The Indian market is growing very fast, so far as processed food is concerned, it's almost 12 lakh crores market as per the survey. So, friends, uh, uh, there, this is a very big area where we should promote entrepreneurs. And there is a big, so why people should think about it? It is a, it is a, it's a thing. So, friend, agriculture, of course, is a very big thing. In fact, in Nasik, uh, we in Maharashtra, we promoted lots of uh, agriculture related uh, entrepreneurs. And we we have received a Shethi Mitra award also. It's a friend of agriculture from the government of Maharashtra. It's a very prestigious thing. We have more than uh, 4,000 plus food processing industries and they are doing extremely well. They are not only producing for India, but they are even exporting. It's a spices, uh, processed food products, uh, uh, pulses and so many things are uh, have, we have a very big export potential in India. So friends, uh, it's a very big area where, where we should work. The another area which has grown up very fast is e-commerce. E-commerce uh, in last year, it, the growth rate was more than 40%. So 
example, e-commerce is going. Now everybody is going for uh, online transactions and online sales. People are there. And so friends, uh, there is a big need to introduce technology in our business and make it make the things online. So is a very big and India is very competent in handling any kind of e-commerce uh, transactions. In fact, uh, the cashless economy uh, we are uh, very much uh, surging ahead. So far as cashless economy is concerned, and uh, the use of apps like phone uh, pay and all that, it is the highest use. In fact, uh, across world we are at the number one position. So far as using this app. And paying the even reasonable vendors. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely, e-commerce has got a very big thing. My several participants uh, are you now in, uh, in this international business due to this e-commerce. They, they started, and uh, really, uh, in fact, recently, very recently, my two of my lady entrepreneurs, they started uh, their portal and they started selling handy crew, handicraft and handroom items uh, through their portal. And they are now making turn of 20 lakhs per month. It's more than that, in fact. And they are, they are, they are profiting more than 1 lakh per, per, per month. Very recently they have started. And they are getting very good response across globe. So you have to just make some logistics in other areas. You know, get, you, uh, get the benefit of uh, Amazon or Flipkart or like that. So friends, uh, there is another area which is coming up is the real estate. It's growing very fast. So there is a big scope for construction and other activities. It's growing very well. Growing automobile and EV sectors in perhaps in next five years, we may lead the world. So far as automobile is concerned, electrical vehicles are concerned. Tourism, of course, uh, has grown very fast. But just recently, today only, I was reading uh, some article about tourism. Northeast and Kashmir are now people's destination uh, for tourism. Instead of going to Europe and other countries, people are now preferring to uh, go to Northeast. And there is a big scope. In fact, I am very, I am very much keen to visit uh, Nagaland and Tripura next month. Perhaps I may be visiting. It's a big, big, big potential over there. And the, today also only I just uh, I was just going to Google News. And the, the the cleanest river of Asia is uh, is in Meghalaya. So like that we have a very good traditional thing. We have a uh, so many things for to develop tourism. So all these sectors are growing very fast, very fast. And uh, the, if you just look at the figures. Uh, primary, secondary and tertiary sectors, they all are growing very fast. In the last uh, two years, couple of years, you can see agriculture, forestry, fishing, mining, quarrying uh, is growing 22%. These are primary sectors which we know. And the secondary sector like electrical, uh, gas, water supply, manufacturing, all these sectors are growing at 24% and tertiary sector is growing at 24%. Services rather. You know, the service sectors uh, are going very, very fast. So friends, uh, looking at this, all the growth which is happening, and uh, we, uh, if we really want to be a part of it, uh, the only thing which is required uh, mindset, the, 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 the mindset which is required to be an entrepreneur, uh, it is now a little different what we used to do in the last, uh, before COVID you can say. Now after COVID, so many things have changed and now we have to really work really hard. And the first thing that uh, entrepreneurs and any educators and uh, everyone who are there, they must think about, uh, they must think globally, they must think big. See, uh, normally people just think about the local market, just uh, local things. So we have to think beyond. So, see, we have a tradition of Shivaji Maharaj, who had a vision to create the empire, Hindu empire. See, that time he, he had that vision and he made it. It's only thinking that has to be changed. It has to be very broad. We have to think of global. 
I am I am not only an educator, my dear friends. I am entrepreneur also. I am an exporter also. Last year I have exported uh, agriculture from uh, worth of this 24 crores. And this year we are planning to start uh, uh, agriculture uh, means food processing uh, exports also. And uh, food processing basically we have put one big unit of uh, now. The direction is going on one. Uh, one in dehydration unit we have put, which is a very big and uh, now uh, daily 12 ton uh, processing will be done so, uh, will be done of onions. So like that, onion and all other things can be dehydrated where the water content is there. It can be dehydrated, the shelf life can be increased and all these dehydrated things can be utilized. So thinking big is very much important. So, uh, we have to think about quality now. Previously, we were not very much concerned about the quality part of the course. Now, uh, since it is an international, it is a global competition, we should think about quality. We must focus on quality. Quality should become a concern of our life. Whatever we do, whatever, it's not only the production, it's not only the services. Whatever you do, you should be thinking about quality. Everywhere, the quality should become an integral part of our activity, and it should become a most concerned area because we have so many options available across the world. You may have to ಇಂಡಿಯಾ India is having a market of 135 crores people. See, why not uh, foods and vegetables from uh, Nagaland and Arunachal and Tripura can come to other parts of India? And why? See, India itself has a very big um, potential. See, if we start just uh, doing this, we can really make a big thing. So, uh, collect from where it is produced and sell where it is not there. So like this the things can be developed. So um, friends, uh, schemes, uh, there are lots of schemes as I told you. Besides this, every state is having some uh, package scheme of incentives for promoting industries. They have their own scheme, they have a uh, in for, for uh, industry, there are so many schemes. More than 100% subsidies are available so far as food processing is concerned. So you can get your 100% back in the form of subsidies in, in five years. Besides, profit is just addition to it. If you export, you get almost 10% subsidy, 10% incentives. So many ways are there in, in, in export. Uh, there are almost uh, 15 kinds of various incentive schemes are for manufacturing industries. See, and even for some industries like solar waste, if they will come up with some solar products, and there is a big scheme 
30 percent subsidy is there. See the schemes under the Make in India. If you make some import substitute items, government is ready to give you the land free and they are ready to give you the market. They are ready to buy your products. Making uh, the, the another mission is a uh, green India where you can maybe work on the uh, vestiges, the non conventional energy. Uh, biomass is a big problem in India. Why not we convert that biomass into fuel or fertilizer? There are so many developments are happening in this way. Solid waste management can be a big, big era for them. Think of some non-conventional things also. Not only non-conventional energy, but non-conventional businesses, perhaps we, which we are not thinking about. Think about it. See, uh, there are so many possibilities, but we have to think big, we have to think positive, we have to be innovative, we have to be adaptable. These are the only things we just think. And of course, have a big, big, big goal in front of you. A uh, famous author, perhaps you all must be knowing, Stephen Covey, he wrote one book called as a Seven Secrets of Highly Successful People. What he said, well, the first secret, first the, the first secret he said is start with the end in mind. If I start, what will be the end of it? You should imagine, you should visualize it. And then that thing will happen. The great utilization is, is required. See, it's a, it's a, it, it really works. The famous scientist Albert Einstein said, if you visualize it, it can be realized. But the, the first stage you have to do is visualize it. Yes, it happens, it will happen. It has happened like that you visualize. I think it will really happen. He said, no, it is not possible, then it is really not possible. It's a law of attraction that works, my dear friends. Perhaps you must have read one book called The Secret. But if the, all these secrets are there in our Puranas also. They are very much mentioned. India has got a very good heritage. Just think about it. Friends, quality and all other things are away there. In, when, when we were in Chanakya era, uh, that time we were the leader. See, 70% uh, we were exporting 70% of those, and we had a 70% share in the export. Now uh, we are just 5%. So why not we revive it and why not make use of all the resources that are available? And so we make some meditation. We have seen we, have, we are fortunate enough to have so many things. We have resources, we have infrastructure, we have loan schemes, we have incentive schemes, we have a very good manpower, we have a big manpower which is basically attracted towards job. Make use of such manpower. In, in, in Maharashtra also, we get engineers at 10 to 12,000 rupees a month. So that is the main thing. So make use of such manpower and just produce the thing. So we are in a really, very comfortable situation. See, the, 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 the process of entrepreneurship development has started by one famous legal scientist and psychologist, Dr. David McIlvain. He has done one Kakinada experiment in 1964. He uh, converted a lot of uh, his and after having a big study of almost nine years, uh, he has uh, come up with uh, this developing this entrepreneurship development programs and all that. One in, he narrated uh, India in one sentence. What he said, India is the richest country in the world where poor people live. We are, we are rich in all respect, but we are poor because lack of entrepreneurship, lack of big thinking. So we have to now revive ourselves, rejuvenate our, uh, our capabilities and just refresh with your all new ideas, find friends, the tremendous possibilities are there. 
Uh, I think uh, if you have any questions, I am there to answer your question uh, because I have got so many things to deliver, so many things I can just go on talking and talking. But uh, I really want to really help you out and whatever way I can uh, make it possible. So um, if you just come up with some questions um, you have in mind. What do you really business? Any questions you cover, I will be very happy to answer those questions uh, and uh, really help you to do something. Because we have been doing, we have a mission of creating one lakh entrepreneurs, and um, now we are just on the way. We just crossed uh, sixty-five thousand marks last year. Now we this year we are we are planning to cross uh, seventy-five thousand mark. So friends, it uh, it is our mission. Uh, that to create entrepreneurs and uh, help them across country, across globe. It's not only across India, across globe we are planning. We have a number of participants from various European countries also in our programs. So friends, uh, now initially we started with the local language Marathi. Now we have shifted to Hindi, now we will be shifting to English language. So there are possibilities. Depends. Any questions you have got, I'll be very happy to answer those. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. I'm Madhubul. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm here already. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, in present scenario, the India facing like a huge uh, uh, problematic for economics for the last three years. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what will it come for after uh, three years? It will be a uh, uh, overcome for economic problems, or still they are facing a uh, uh, financial uh, problems like economic problems. But the last three years, India. Yes, so last three years, India is facing a huge problematic for uh, economics. Uh, so, it is based on uh, still it continue for the economic problems in future, or maybe. Uh, the changes of the world. See, definitely change is going to happen and India is going to really uh, take a leading position. See, if you just think about the entire world, we are very fortunate. We are not suffered a lot due to COVID. We are not suffering a lot due to this Ukraine war. And the entire world is suffering. Like uh, if you think about the US, uh, the inflation rate at its high level in US, okay, it's not only the inflation, uh, see even in Europe, they are uh, facing problem of inflation, uh, entire Europe is facing, and China uh, having a problem, lots of problem, in the COVID wave which has came more than recent past, that is really, um, change their economy and people are become people are some people are even 25 percent went into depression see in other other scenario friends uh, india is growing very fast the 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 gdp is now at its i we are the we, we have even crossed uh, surpassed uh, china so how can you say we are not we are having a bad situation hello hello am i audible Yes, I am. Um, so, friends, uh, really, uh, we are having a very, very good situation. Think the positive side of it. Don't focus on the negative side of it. See, everywhere you say okay, India is having problems, uh, Northeast is having problems. You will say you will, you will see an opportunity. If you are negative, perhaps you will focus only on the problems. So it is the mindset that has to be changed. See, really, it's not only because we see the, the thing that which we are experiencing. See, basically, we grow three hundred percent. So you have to be very positive, dear friend. There is, there is nothing wrong which has happened with India. Everything is going very well. Hello. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for this uh, yeah. expression. Hello. Hey, uh, just a second. I'll just open the door.
I wanted to know if there are, uh, I'm sure there are so many problems in your life as an entrepreneur that you might have had so many problems. So, what was the most difficult one and how did you tackle the problem? How? Which how did you? How did you? Yeah. Um, tackle the problem. See, see, uh, and by I now I have not clearly heard you, clearly listened to you, but I think you are talking about the attitude, right? Hello. Is there how did you overcome the problem in your entrepreneur? See, see, basically, it is the attitude that makes the difference. See, if you just focus on the positive aspects of life positive aspects of any situation. It is not the situation that really changes. It is I that can change the situation. So whatever may be the problem, so just change your thinking. Just change your uh, the vision, just change your mindset. The mindset can be changed by showing them the, the reality. See, if you are just thinking about the negative thing, perhaps uh, you will be, you will have fear, you will have insecurity, you will have so, so many things. But if you are having the positive thing, you will have opportunity, you, you will enjoy the life. See, in life perhaps the problems are going to be there. But how can I just change the situation? If we just uh, see situation, much depends on your mindset. The, the, the situation can be changed only with the help of mindset. But no other things can change. If you are focusing only on the, if I show something, if you say this is the wrong uh, thing, but if you see you know, what is the best, what are the good things there, what are the good things, Just focus on that part. Focus uh, on the positive set. What you see? Even see, I will tell you one situation. I uh, in my home we had a decade. Okay, uh, just ten years back. So it it is not a good situation, of course. But I uh, I just started thinking, how can I uh, see? How can I be a best situation of my life? So it has converted. See, my my wife was seriously injured. Okay, 10 uh, worms were there due to that knife which that uh, Takaith had used and then her right hand was completely in the plaster. I asked her, okay, can you use with, uh, can you use left hand, can you start using left hand? So she started using left hand, now the situation is that she can work with both hands. She can write with left hand also, she can work with right hand. See, one party has stopped my payment, in fact he was defaulted my payment of 10 lakh rupees. And I just messaged in case he, I had a big problem now, can you just help me out to give my own money? So he defaulted my money. See, nothing wrong happens. In a situation, whatever you just say, see, everything is very positive. Just see, think from the positive angle, the positive attitude has to be developed. See, then only the things can change. If you just go on saying the only, only wrong thing, hey, this is the wrong, that doesn't happen, the situation is really bad, the economic condition is bad, the thing, um, the, the government is bad, everything, if we see, is a bad happening. Then you will find only bad things. But if you start focusing on the good thing, the beautiful nature that you have got, the beautiful uh, the beautiful resources that you have got, can we use that resources, the, the talent you have got, can we use that and make something very positive? So it is the positive part we have to focus. Now, see, uh, in any situation, we have a, a positive thing and negative thing. Generally, we focus on the negative things, then we will find problems. If you focus on positive things, you will find opportunities. So that is the only difference. Yes, just think about it. I am not It's not that I am just giving you some, it's my own experiences. 
I am not only a, 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 a lecturer or like that, a trainer, I am an entrepreneur as well. So I come across with lots of problems. And but in one situation, I see in my, my own story is like that, I didn't have the 700 rupees pay a power bill. Uh, the electricity bill, I didn't have 700 rupees. So electricity person came and cut life light of my my home for two days. And that is the situation I have undergone. Now I am distributing, I am making total of 24 crores in exports, 5 crores, 6 crores in training and so many other things. See, this all thing can be changed only with the help of the mindset. Mindset has to be changed. It has to be a very positive angle of life. Okay. Anything else, dear friends? Okay, I think, sir, all the participants are there. My is very clear about the concept of entrepreneurship. And I wish all success towards the goal that we got around 55,000 at most. And we are very eager to reach the motto of 1 lakh. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And we are also ready to contribute towards the success of the new time. <laughs> Thank you so much for the and whatever we yeah. require, whatever concepts, whatever the thing we are ready to share, we have a lot of resources, a lot of connects. Definitely, whatever way we can connect, in fact, we can start an uh, interstate uh, business, uh, ask a participant to do something in something for Maharashtra, and Maharashtra, I can ask something to do for uh, Nagaland. So, anything can be done. I mean, lots yes, of sir, sir, sir. Yeah. We are always ready to come with you. Uh, so thank you very much and uh, I, you, I thank all the uh, participants and uh, especially you who uh, consistently followed the thing yeah. and uh, make it happen. So thank, thank, you. Thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I request uh, Rajiv Thakur sir for delivering the word of thanks. For you sir. Uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, is it audible? Yeah. 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 I, th I take this opportunity to expose my sincere gratitude to the management to the Vice Chancellor, to the Register and the team IIC for providing us the chance to learn many things from this previous program. I would like to thank our special guest and speaker of the day, Sri Sunil Sandak, sir, for respecting our invitations and for being here with us today. He thrown out with numerous messages about the entrepreneurship and his efforts towards the deliverance of the speech and encouraged the students to find the entrepreneurial skills among them. His own ideas and evidence of the explanations of everything I need to mention my deeper sense of appreciation. I also extend thanks to the, all the staff members for their enormous cooperation within the organization of this grand event. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. <laughs>